you yeah. wrote a friggin' fantastic piece talking about the kind of like the history of the gold standard. And if it was such a wonderful thing, why does everybody keep leaving it? Yeah. And can, can you kind of just quickly state what the gold standard was, is, and what it is not, and, yeah. and kind of why it fails miserably everywhere it is, and, and then kind of explain why you know this system that we have is perfect to satisfy a progressive agenda. Well, uh, I'd say the system we have can can support a pro progressive agenda. I'm not, I wouldn't say it's quite perfect, but it can support a progressive agenda a lot better than it's doing. <laughs> it's got a few flaws in there. Uh, okay, yes, look, every any time a country goes to war that's on the gold standard, they go off the gold standard because they're going to lose the war. <laughs> because it limits, it constrains what the government can spend. It constrains lending, it constrains banking. And it's an artificial, not artificial, it's a legislated constraint. It's not, and so instead of being constrained by available resources, you also are constrained by this legislation that requires taxes to be paid in gold, basically. So your tax credits are become gold certificates. The government has enough you know, taxes due, they can only be paid in gold. And when the relative value of gold changes, uh, the system, everything else changes violently to try and keep up with it, up or down. Uh, and you know, if there's a shortage of funds needed to pay taxes for whatever reason, maybe there's been a big default or a loss or a big banking loss or something. Uh, yes, in theory, everything will deflate. The only jobs people will be able to get is gold miners. Everybody will be out scouring the, the mines and the streets for gold and beg, borrowing and steal to try and get enough gold. And so, yeah, you'll have full employment because you've got half your economy out there. <laughs> trying to looking for gold rather than fighting the war and growing the food and, and everything else. So, and you know, if you're building gold reserves, which we did under the gold standard, right? Because gold becomes the object of savings. The only way you can save is to have more gold because the only dollars you have are based on the amount of gold in the federal reserve. And so you get this human endeavor is directed towards accumulating gold. So you've got, you know, millions of people going, digging these huge holes in the ground, you know, digging up tons and tons of ore, spending huge amounts of energy, you know, to then melt it down and, and you know, via you know, <laughs> the most toxic chemicals you can imagine trying to leach it out of the gold. And, you know, millions of people building all the heavy equipment and tires eight feet tall to try and drive the machines to haul this stuff around. Now, if you look at all the stuff that supports gold mining, okay, and then finally you get it melted down, you get into these gold ingots, and then you, it gets shipped to the United States, let's say. And over in the United States, in Kentucky, uh, in Fort Knox, we go out and spend all, go through this huge human endeavor, digging these big, big hole in the ground for a vault, of building Fort Knox, you know. And then we take the money, and we take the gold that came out of one hole in the ground and went through all this transformation to put it in another hole in the ground in Fort Knox and leave it there so that, you know, that becomes our national savings. And then we have to post guards and have all kinds of security around it to make sure some foreign entity doesn't come and take, you know, the gold out of our hole in the ground and put it in their hole in the ground. <laughs> like the whole, you know, my friend Steve Sanciola from college used to just go on and on about the stupidity of this, what everybody's doing with this gold. And, you know, what's the point? To constrain monetary savings, to constrain being able to save the tax credit needed, you know, to pay your tax liabilities, to only be, you know, so much so, so that it's equal to the amount of gold in this hole in the ground in Kentucky. Like, what is the further public purpose behind that? Why, what is what is gained by taking these real labor hours, these real resources, goods and service, and committing them to this endeavor rather than something else? You know, all those people could have taken the day off and played golf or something. <laughs> like, why not? So we went to fed the gold. So what? We don't do anything with it except what I just talked about. 